What's going on everybody? This is Loxy. Welcome to Tech Tuesday. Um, today I'm going to highlight a really, really important aspect of my production career. Uh, it's called the TBK and it's basically a filter cutoff and um, I love it. It's part of a mastering suite put out by a company called Synolxis and I'll go ahead and put the uh, link in the description below so you guys can go ahead and look at the whole mastering suite. I'll give you an idea of what's in the suite right here. Um, if you look over here, um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but the limiter is really great. Um, there's a stereo widening tool, which is really great, which allows you to isolate certain frequencies and widen them. I'll probably do a Tech Tuesday on that as well. There's a really good compressor, a really good um, multiband EQ, but what we're gonna highlight today is called the TBK. Okay, so I'm just gonna load the TBK onto this track of this pad. And it's got kind of a cool look, with the gold button here. Um, and I use this on pretty much every record that I produce, and even the mashups and stuff that I work on. It's really, really great filter. Um, it has a lot of different uh, ways in which you can configure it, but the main way that I use it is using the high pass filter and the low pass filter, which you just choose right here. Um, and it's super easy. You just choose high pass or low pass. So. And then there's just one dial right here, and you can probably see there's a little dot right here where the arrow is. And as you turn it, it changes the tone or the filter cutoff of the actual sound. Now it's really great for automating and having uh, in a, a sound evolve over time. Um, let me show you what the sound sounds like without using the TBK. All right, so you guys get an idea of what that sounds like. So now I'm gonna play the sound and I'm going to move the dial up and down. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna go back up. This is a low pass filter. So you can see how I was able to kind of bring the sound down and then bring it back up. Um, now let me show you the high pass. So the high pass filter. And again, all I'm doing is moving this dial up and down with the mouse. So up and down, up and down. And if you look at, uh, the screen, you'll watch this red line go up and down as well as I move it up and down. And that's basically the frequency range or the frequency amount at which you're cutting off the filter. So let me uh, do a basic low pass filter. I'm gonna go ahead and open the filter all the way up. So we're getting the full amount of the sound. Now watch, this is the really great part about Ableton is you can come over here and you can choose um, the TBK, this is in the same uh, drop down menu, you have all of your you know, plugins and whatnot. So you just choose TBK and you choose that you want to isolate the frequency. And it gives you this red line which regulates the frequency. And what you can do is just put a dot at the end and a dot at the beginning. And then you take the one at the beginning and you just bring it down. Now watch what happens, the sound will evolve over time. See this is kind of slowly coming up here, or ramping up. So it's a really clean filter, it's really smooth, um, I get almost zero popping and it's just, I absolutely love it. Um, you can use it on synths, um, percussion patterns, um, pads, you can pretty much use it on anything, on vocals, um, it's really great for buildups uh, with white noise if you want to um, 
have something you know coming in over time and growing and building but again huge 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 uh, weapon that I use in my production stuff so hopefully you guys can uh, can use this and uh, it'll help you out in your production again uh, thanks for checking in with uh, Loxy on Tech Tuesday and I'll see you guys later peace